do like Nana Ma, Nana Ma, what you doing? You can do more than that. You can do some more than that. So I learned. Hello, welcome Ghana. Hello, welcome Africa. Hello, welcome the whole world. Welcome online university. My name is Professor Brogue. Yeah. I'm here because president called me to come and teach all the students at home because of COVID-19 or coronal virus or pandemic. I'm very happy that president make raise a eye, search the whole world, the whole Africa, the whole Ghana, and choose me, Professor Boge, and come to teach all the students nursery to university. I'm very happy and excited. So today, I want you to, I don't want the student to be coming lazy and cumbulous. I want you to come the clever like me, Professor Boge. That way, I come to teach you on online university. Yes, today, the lesson we are coming to, I'm coming to teach you is a dramatic expression. Say it of some a dramatic expression. I know you are good. You say it after me. Somebody will ask me that what is a dramatic expression? Good. Thank you that you asked me. Yeah, a dramatic expression is that. I want you to explain it to you. A dramatic expression is, means that when somebody is talking to you and twists their mouth, they're talking. So know that you are wisely or you, your mind is so fastly. It looks like proverb. Yeah. So that way you are underst I know that you are understand. So the first idiom. The first idiom is that actions speak louder than words. Yeah, somebody will ask me, actions speak louder than words. Yes, today, I'll break down for you and you understand what I'm coming to learn. Action is like you are looking TV, action movie. Rainbow Commando Van Damme movie. You will see that everywhere is louded because of we are praying the, the uh, puzzle on it, the bomb on it, machine gun is praying. Boom, 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 boom. All of that over the place is louded and sounded. But when you come to wet, wet is local movie. When you are seeing local movie, it's slowly, it's quietly. It's quietly. So it, the, everywhere is it's, 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 it's quiet. It's quiet, like cemetery. Oh, cemetery, when I say cemetery, cemetery is louder than that uh, local movie. It's, it's louder than that. So when you come to the uh, uh, wet, it's making love. Hey, I love you. I, I want you to. Yeah, yes, me too. I love you. It's like a uh, Jacapia and Domelo movie. It's, it's slowly. It's slowly. It's not going to, uh, it's action is different than words. Yes, when you come to, when you want to know action, different between action and words, it's like this. That one, I explain it to you. Yes, today, we are coming to idiom number two. Idiom number two, a hand, a bed in hand, is what to in the bush. Yes, Everybody chew the, eat the bed, or I know that you know already. So when you go to bush, you catch the bed, you come to eat immediately, in fact, it's not certify you. So when you catch the bed, bring it at home, and then come and feed him different kind of foods. Food like what? Somebody will ask me, what type of food I will give you to the bed and you'll be coming big. And then when I eat, I will become satisfied. 
Yes, I'm happy that you asked me that. Yes, the food you kind of food you give it to him, the bed is him is pizza, corner beef, herb milk, hamburg and fufu and a punching kakra. Yes. When you give that bed that kind of food, it will becoming bigger and poor food. Poor food, and you eat, you'll be happy. You chew, uh, you'll be relaxing like you are tired of joint. Yes. So I want you to know that a bed in the hand is worth two in the bush. So I want you to know that Two beds in the bush, when you catch two beds in the bush and come eat immediately, that two beds will not satisfy you. But when you feed him, like what I said, it will be satisfied you. So, the third idiom. The third idiom, stop beating about the bush. Yes. Stop beating about the bush is that explanation. I want to explain it to you. Somebody will ask me that, Stop beating about the bush. I, 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 I hear it some place, but I didn't know the explanation. Today, Professor Bogue will explain it to you and you understand it at home. <laughs> I know that. Yes. So when some people go home a uh, bush and go and read, yes, some of them will become lazy and we started beating them at the bush. That way, it will be coming. Stop beating about the bush. I know that you are happy. You are learning more about the idioms. Today, idiom number four. In a nightshell, I'm coming to explain it to you and break down to you. When you go to Shell filling station, you will see that the music is playing. The restaurant is moving. All over the filling station is very happy. So that way we are saying it, you say, in a nut shell, in a night shell. Yeah. So I know that you are very happy. You, you understand what I said. For last idiom for today is kick the bucket. Yeah, I want to explain it to you and break down to you. Yes. Ghana and Indian go to meet for ball. We are praying. Then we are started playing the ball. Indian people said to Ghana that when you score one goal, we give the win to Ghana. And the Ghana people, we started playing the ball. The ball, Ghana people take the ball, the ball change to different things. Lion, crocodile, and then the last way he changed you to the bucket. And the Ghana striker, number nine, take the ball and shoot into the pole and score the one goal. And then immediately, in fact, and then the Ghana striker dead. Immediately. So that time, Ghana win the match because the Indian people say that when you score the one goal, you are winning. That way, is that idiom, kick the bucket. It's like this. So if you kick the bucket, your leg will swallow. And then you will die. That is all for today on online university. My name is Professor Bagay. Bye bye.